I bet that's a... Well, hello there. I'm German evolutionary biologist Friedrich Leopold August Wiesmann, and today I have something very special to share with you all, and that is my theory of evolution. First of all, I did strongly support Darwin and Wallace's theory of evolution by natural selection. When this theory was published in German in 1859, I was alive. I felt the joy that I had when my first son Julius was born. But there was one thing I certainly did not agree on with Darwin's theory, and that was his acceptance of the Lamarckian view of the inheritance of acquired characteristics, or use of disuse as some would like to call it. The Lamarckian view of inheritance is just preposterous, and to prove Mr. Father of Evolution wrong, I created my own experiment where I worked with mice. In 1883, I cut off the tails of mice from 21 generations. You know how many rats that is? That's 1,500 rats. Oh yeah. Well, I observed that the 22nd generation still had tails, and so I concluded that the evidence contradicted Darwin's theory of disuse, and that despite obvious reasons of change in the mice, continuity was what was observed, and not new variation. Well, I actually embarked on this experiment because I felt that I needed to show how ridiculous people were getting because some people claimed that animals inherited mutilations such as cats having to lose its tail and making tailless cat babies. They're crazy, crazy. But this wonderful experiment with these lovely mice did help me prove that hereditary information moves only from genes to body cells and never in reverse. Along with playing with these mice, I also discovered an awesome theory called germ plasma theory. I think that the multicellular organisms consist of germ cells that contain and transmit heritable information and somatic cells which carry out ordinary bodily functions. You see, inheritance in a multicellular organism only takes place in the germ cells, such as the gametes, such as the egg and the sperm. Other cells of the body do not function as agents of hereditary. Germ cells produce somatic cells and more germ cells, and the germ cells are not affected by anything the somatic cell learns or any ability the body acquires during its life. Genetic material cannot pass from soma to germ plasm and on to the next generation. And you know, one day they'll thank me for this and thank me for my ridiculously good looks.